Yanaguni is an island located in the western edge of Japan. You can also see Taiwan from the island. In 1996, an enormous underwater structure was found in the offshore of Yanaguni. It looks like some sort of ruins. Is it an artificial or an extremely rare natural formation? Professor Kimura from Ryuki University said this is definitely man-made. There are no debris right under this monument and it was surrounded by a narrow passage. You can find perfectly geometrical or symmetrical shape all over the monument. It is difficult to explain those structure by natural phenomena. There is a similar structure on the beach of Yanaguni Island. It is called San Nidai. Professor Kimura said it is also an artificial structure and he confirmed a bird-like shape on the surface. This is a turtle-like figure, which is near the underwater monument. And I found the same face in the island. The face underwater. The face which I found in the island. This face is placed on the foundation rocks. On the top of the face has Haijo Katsu, which we believe is ancient symbol. The underwater monument and megaliths on the island are not natural formation. So who or what culture created these? And how old is it? Some believe it's belonged to the lost civilization Mu, which sank under the Pacific Ocean. Some say it was built by ancient Phoenician because they found Phoenician inscriptions. I doubt it. I think it belongs to the unknown civilization in the last ice age. Megaliths are present all over the world, and we don't know who really create them. There is a legend of the giants in Yanaguni Island. Steps found in the underwater monument is too large for human being. It could have been made by the unknown giants race who ruled the world before us. They are probably descendants of the Denisovans. Denisovan is the new species of archaic human found in Siberia, Russia in 2010. Their appearance is unknown, but they must be much bigger than us, according to the size of the bone and teeth. Now we know some Asian people have DNA of Denisovans. Especially people living in the Oceania region, have Denisovan's DNA at high percentage. Denisovans spread to the Oceania region before us, and build megaliths. What if they still live in Melanesia? They are living in the remote islands of Solomon today and their habitat is underground. Giants were once kidnapping or wrapping human. 
that is why people living in this region has the DNA of Denisovans at high percentage. Legend of the Giants is real. Yanaguni Underwater Monument is the undeniable proof of their existence. This documentary is created by Office Carthagin.